factorising, no matter how smug and confident you are with your maths, factorising will trip you up somewhere. So we may as well uh, remove the ego and be aware that we're going to make a mistake and we'll just embrace it when necessary. One of the things that's uh, the key, in my opinion, to solving uh, factorising is knowing factors of things. And the things that you need to know, the factors, is this last number here. And I wouldn't necessarily have to worry about, um, and in fact, I might actually just erase that border and include the little positive sign. The, in order to be confident with quadratic equations, what I'm about to do on paper, you need to be able to do in your head. So, for we want to find out what numbers multiply together to get positive 16. Give me an example of two numbers that multiply together to get positive 16. Mr. Musgrove had his hand up first. Four and four. Okay, so positive four, and positive four? Yep. Yeah. Miss Mullins? Eight and two. Positive eight and positive two? Sixteen and one. Sixteen and one. Positive sixteen and positive one. Uh, Mr. Schwab at the back? Um, and all the negative counterparts of those things? Yeah, so negative four, negative four, negative eight times negative two, because two negatives make a positive. Negative sixteen and minus one. Any other factors of sixteen? That looks pretty much like all of them I need to worry about. I'm going to set up what's called the crisscross method, as it were. And what this does, and there's a little arrow going this way and a little arrow going this way. Now, on the left, of the, these are two brackets. I've just put them underneath each other instead of next to each other. You know how we normally have two brackets that we expanded by? I'm just having two of these like this. Now, x squared, what times what gets me x squared? Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So an x and another x. So we've got a number here. And we've got a number here. So the way this works, and in fact what I might do is I might actually colour code this because pretty colours are always the best. And there we go. Uh, and look, we've even got some sad face music in the background as we're going through as we're trying to get our way through hey look if you if you can do perfect pitch then you're allowed to go in and be critical now okay So I've just drawn some boxes here. I want to show you what I'm doing here. So, this is the way this works. Essentially, x times some number, and this x times another number, whatever they equal, when I add them together, they have to equal this number next to the x here. So you can see my little blue and my blue uh, coordinated here. So, Okay, so, yes, well, so, um, I've got to choose a number in this bracket, and I've got to choose a number in this bracket, yeah? Yep, and out of the combinations are, we've already got the possible combinations here. Now, you'll notice, why, why do you think I've made it diagonal? Why do I have to worry about this x multiplying by this one, and this x multiplying by that one? How does that relate back to the expanding brackets here? To, um, get 8x. Yep. Like, Yeah, because if you look back, the diagonal comes from, you know how we multiply almost in a diagonal fashion, that's 3 going to the other 3, and then the x times by the x and so on, so they're going by diagonals. Yeah. So similarly, that's what we're doing over here. So, what two possible numbers could I put here, and then here, that would equal 2 positive 8? So they have to, so it's out of these combinations, so what number... Which one's four and four, do we say? Negative four and negative four. Negative four, and negative four. All right, well, let, we'll try negative four and negative four. No. Why would you not choose negative four and negative four? Yeah, well, exactly right. If you were to add negative four and add negative four together, you'd get negative eight X. So, what should we, I heard um, a positive four and a positive four. Okay, so x, 
listening thanks. X times by positive 4 is positive 4x. X times positive 4 is positive 4x. Add these two together and I get positive 8x. So that means that the answer to this factorising is going to be x plus 4, x plus 4. Since they are identical, I can write them as x plus 4 all squared. Okay? So there we go. So similarly, okay, we're now I'm going to do the next one without writing the factors. So in this one I wrote the factors. This time we're going to try and do it in our heads. So again, x times x is going to get us x squared, but we need to get all my colour coding right. So I need two numbers that multiply together to get negative 7, add together to get positive 6. Which ones and where? Let's start Mr. Daniels, I think, shot his hand up first. What have you got for me? All right, negative 7 and positive 1. All right, we can try that. Negative 7 and positive 1. Let's try this. X times negative 7 is negative 7. X times positive... Oh, that would be negative 7x, I should say. X times positive 1 is positive 1x. If I add those two friends together, negative 7 plus 1. Oh, dear, that gets us negative 6x, not positive 6x. So... What can we do with that, Mr. Musgrove? Oh no, well hang on, we're very close, we're so close. Positive 7 and negative 1, let's try that. Yeah, yes! Well that's what, that's my no give up hands. You can't see it, YouTube, but I'm doing no give up hands. There we go, there's my no give up hands. Okay. Negative. Uh, negative. Oh, I'm so glad, because I certainly was making all those other YouTube videos for nobody to watch them. I watched them all. Oh, I hear. Uh, I subscribe, but I don't Positive 7x plus negative 1x. Oi. I hear gossiping, but I don't hear not that. Okay, positive 7x plus negative 1x is going to be positive 6x. Therefore, our brackets are going to be x plus 7 and x minus 1. Good. This one here, negative x squared minus 7x minus 10. Notice here it's got a negative at the front. My strategy with this one would actually be to take the negative out. What I mean is I'm going to divide everything by negative 1. So I'm just going to divide that by negative 1, divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1. And I get negative... <laughs> so you see here, what I've done here is I've just taken the negative out and I've left all of the insides the same. Okay, so I've oh, left the insides having positive numbers. So now, I need, and we can set this up, so, and I'm just going to do this, boop, 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 x and x, like that. So, I need two numbers that are multiplied together to get positive 10, add together, to get uh, positive seven, so we'll do it this way. And I think Mr. Schwab at the back has got an idea for me. What have you got? Uh, okay, positive five and positive two. Let's draw, we can put them basically anywhere. Positive five, negative two. Oh, sorry, positive two, sorry. So yeah, x times positive five is positive five. X times positive two is positive two. Those are x's. Add them together, I get positive 7x, which is the x inside the bracket. So my final answer for this one here is going to be negative x plus 2, x plus 5. Well, I may as well write it in the order that I wrote it up there. x plus 5. Doesn't matter which one, which order it is. So therefore, there's our factorised thing. Mr. Musgrove.
Okay. Then we got rid of the negative Yeah, so the reason. Yeah. Shouldn't you do like when you rebuild it, you add the negative Well, I could expand it back in, but to be honest, it's actually better to factorize it out. It's what's called the most simplest answer. Well, yes. Well, when you expand it, remember how I was talking before when we had three things, you only do two things at a time? So, or when you, if I was to expand this back in, that, that minus sign is just going to go with this and this first bracket here. So this would become negative x minus 5. Yeah, so that would stay the same. And then as I expand that, I would get my final answer. In fact, just to prove I'm not talking crap, because I do that times, negative x times x, negative x squared. I like to prove this because I like the sound of my own voice. Negative x times negative, uh, positive 2 is going to mean uh, negative 2x. Negative 5 times by x is negative 5x. Negative 5 times by positive 2 is negative 10. Negative x squared minus 7x minus 10. So we have proved that correct. Yay, go us. So the last bit of factorizing is uh, that I want to do with these two friends here. Well, you'll notice that there is in fact a two at the front uh, of the x. So if you just grab your notes out and just looking at these last two. Now, in this one here, the two x squared plus five x plus two, You'll notice here that I can't, there's no common factor. I can't take out uh, a value of 2 and make it easier. It has to be just as is. So the way that I get this to work is I'm going to get my two brackets, as I did before. But what I'm going to do uh, is, again, the crisscross method. I can move that up. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So again, I've got the crisscross method here. But, um, can you tell me what two numbers multiply together to get 2x squared? 2x and x. Boom. There we go. So, so, I need two numbers that multiply together to get positive 2. But when I follow this little procedure here, and I'll put that there, and this here, when I do all of the multiplying duty, the final answer, uh, I agree, uh, should be equal to positive 5. So, I need to find a place to put the positive, uh, so the, the two numbers. So, what potentially, what would be the two numbers that you would pick that multiply together to get positive 2? Miss Smith. Positive, uh, positive 2 and positive 1, yeah? So, now, to, as a follow-up question, which of those spots would you put them in? Uh, so when you say two in the 2x spot, which one do you mean? The pink or the blue here? The blue. So we'll try. Positive two. And then we'll put positive one here. So x times positive two would be positive 2x. 2x times positive one would be positive 2x. 2x plus 2x, unfortunately, does not get us five. So, we'll have to try a different solution. What have you got, Mr. Musgrove? Uh, why don't we put 2x? Why don't we put... You put 3x. Yeah, well, they needs to... Two yeah, numbers... Two, that... Yeah, 2 in the 2x. Like the pink one. Okay, you put 2 here. Yeah, positive 2 there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't go, because a positive and a negative would make a negative answer. But what if I just put the positive 1 there? Let's go and see what happens here. Uh, Mr. Musgrave, what is 2x times by positive 2? Positive 4x. And x times positive 1? 1x. 1x plus 4x would get us 5x. And there we got our final answer. So that works out. So my final answer here is equal to 2x plus 1, x plus 2. Now, in the one on the right, I would do here. Now, first of all, I would take a common factor out. What's a number or a letter or anything that is in every single one of these terms? Two. Two. In fact, I'd probably take the minus out because my, we like to be more positive where necessary. So I'm going to take a minus 2 out 
Uh, negative 12x squared divided by negative 2. Squared. I was always going to hear the cricket chirps in a moment. Uh, negative 2xy divided by negative 2 would be positive xy. Uh, positive 2y squared divided by negative 2. Negative y squared. So then I would follow the same procedure as I did before. But this time, what two numbers would multiply together to get 6x squared? 2 and 3. It could even be 6 and 1 though. So we'll try 2 and 3 for a start and see if that will work. So we'll try 2x and 3x. And we'll pop this one up here. So, I need to, what a, I need, uh, what two numbers or even letters would get me minus y squared? What times what gets me negative y squared? Negative y and positive y. So I need to find a place. So I've, I've only got two possibilities. Positive y and a negative y. I just need to know which box to put them in. Mr. Daniels, where would you suggest I would put the negative y, do you think? The negative y? Yes. In the bottom? Alright, so that will be what's... We'll put this negative y here. And, we would, and so therefore the positive y would go up here. Let's see if you are right. So 2x times my negative y would get me negative 2y. 3x uh, oh, sorry, that should be negative 2xy. Uh, 3x times by positive y is 3xy. Add those together. 3xy plus negative 2xy does indeed get us just 1xy. Because that's what that would be there. That was a solid high five. Because liquid high fives are the worst. So my final... No, I think that's what you call farts. Now, so we've got here, so 2x plus y, 3x minus y, and there's our final answer. You know, there's like 100% why should you know which positive or negative the y should be in? Is there a 100% one, which ones you'd need to go with which? I'm terribly sorry, you'll have to use uh, intuition and guessing. <laughs>